All right, say it louder. Welcome back, everybody. John Morant, does he need a fresh start? That is the question. Yeah, it's a good question here. Uh, I think you can go a lot of ways with this, but to me, it doesn't really matter where he's at. I think a fresh start could be helpful. I think it lets him know the seriousness of the situation. If you have an organization say, dude, we got to send you somewhere else because we can't have you around here, and we know this spot isn't good for you. But the problem to me doesn't feel like is Memphis. And I know people will talk about that city and some of the issues that are going on there. I think you could point to any major metro and you're going to find similar issues. For John Morant, when he's gotten in trouble, it feels like it's because he's got friends, people in his life, people in his circle, maybe family members even, that have not held him accountable. Friends who are running Instagram live streams knowing John Morant's doing something he's not supposed to be doing and putting him on camera. That becomes an issue. And when you become a professional athlete, and you went through this, uh, you have to pick and choose who you devote your time to and who you want to spend your time around. And it's a difficult process because you don't want to feel like you're leaving people out. John Morant's got to leave a lot of people out right now because there's a lot riding on it, a lot of money on the line, reputations on the line. He's got to make a decision here. And, and I think, you know, Miami was floated as a city that potentially Oof. could be one because of the culture of the Heat and because you have Pat Riley and you have Alonzo Mourning and you have a guy like Udonis Haslam who was a player, I assume he will transition into the front office to kind of lead young players and show them the way. But, man, there's a lot going on in Miami, much like there's a lot going on in Chicago. And sure. there's a lot going on in New York City and Minneapolis and Sacramento and every major city. Like you said, this is on John Morant. John Morant has got to realize what's at stake here for himself personally, for his family, from a financial standpoint, man, you could be a billionaire. You could legitimately be a billionaire. But the NBA, for their top-end talent, and honestly, for anybody in the league, sure. I, I was the 13th guy on a team, and if I was acting wrong, I'm out of there. Yep. But for the top guys in particular who are selling tickets and selling jerseys and moving memorabilia and are the face of the league, which is what John Moran is because he is that type of player, if you want that type of responsibility and that type of money, there's a different standard of the way you have to act. And I know he didn't break any laws. But this is something that in corporate America, you yep. cannot be waving guns on Instagram Live. It is bad for the bottom line. John Morant has got to make the changes necessary for him to continue on with being the face of the NBA. Yeah, I mean, we talked about this earlier. When you decide that you want to be a collegiate athlete, a professional athlete, when you want to be uh, a face that represents another brand, you have to make sacrifices on who you get to be, right? You don't get to be like everybody else. But guess what? Not everybody else gets to sign contracts like you do either. Not everybody else gets to have their own shoe line. So you, you have to be the person that says, I'm going to make a decision for my future. I wanted to ask you this one real quick before we move on here. But from an organizational standpoint, how much longer do you give a guy like John Morant before you start thinking about what your future looks Boy, like? Boy, it's hard because you got like TNT coming in on Thursday nights to do the game. Yep. And you, you've got billboards of one of your players and you're in a market that is traditionally one of the smaller ones in all of the National Basketball Association I think he still has a little bit of leash here because yeah. of the talent that yeah. he is but we are trending in a path where you keep making this mistake over and over again. It's not just going to be Memphis. It could be the entire NBA where you're just not playing anymore. Yeah, to your point, I don't think a lot of people were talking about Memphis no. before John Morant started doing what he's doing.